Okay, I am Dr. Chirag Shah, Consultant Hematologist Oncologist at Apollo CBCC Cancer Care Ahmedabad. Today I will be talking about lymphoma, a type of cancer involving lymphocytes which can present in many different parts of the body. It is important for doctors to know about lymphoma because it is different from other cancers in the way it presents and mainly in the way it is diagnosed and treated. And since the cure rates are so good, it is very important entity to be aware of. So how do lymphomas present? They present as lymph node enlargements in the neck, armpits, inguinal region or they may be internal lymph nodes which give you symptoms like abdominal pain, cough, etc. and on further imaging you find lymph nodes. Sometimes there is enlargement of liver, spleen. Also many patients may have persistent fever, weight loss, night sweats, itching and some patients have no symptoms or no external findings but on routine blood test or blood test done for some other reason, you find that the ESR is high, blood counts are abnormal, liver function may be abnormal, LDH may be high. So these are the cases when you suspect lymphoma. Now how do you make the diagnosis of lymphoma? So unlike other lymph node enlargements such as for solid tumors like head and neck cancer where FNAC fine needle aspiration is sufficient to make diagnosis for lymphoma the diagnosis is to be made by use of either excisional lymph node biopsy or a true cut biopsy and this is the most important point that the practitioner should remember in making the diagnosis. Without these, about 60% of lymphomas are misdiagnosed and people end up getting reports as either tuberculosis or reactive lymph node and that is disastrous for the patient because then the diagnosis is delayed by several months. So once you do an excisional node biopsy or a true cut biopsy, it has to be subjected to immunohistochemistry. In today's day and age, it is not important to have diagnosis only by histopathology. So please remember that IHC should be done and if required, it should be sent to a hematopathologist for a second diagnosis. Why is that? Because there are two most important subtypes of lymphoma which is Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin and the treatment is very different for both. Among non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, then there are many subtypes. Put together, for lymphomas, there are about 40 plus subtypes and many of them have different treatments. So it is very, very important that a proper diagnosis is made and if any doubt, a second opinion should be taken. How are these lymphomas treated? Most of the lymphomas are treated by chemotherapy. In early cases of Hodgkin lymphoma, few cycles of ABVD chemotherapy followed by low dose radiotherapy to the involved site is sufficient. In higher stages, what you do is 6 cycles of ABVD. In non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, there are many subtypes and the treatments are very variable. Briefly, you can remember that there are three major groups, low grade, intermediate grade and high grade. And low grade lymphomas can frequently be left without treatment observed for many months to several years sometimes. And then when patients develop symptoms or some other signs, then they are treated sometimes without any chemotherapy such as by rituximab, a monoclonal antibody against CD20. 
the intermediate grade lymphomas are the commonest which is diffuse large B cell lymphoma and they are treated by a combination of CHOP chemotherapy along with rituximab in general. And high grade lymphomas are treated by various different aggressive chemotherapy regimens. However, I must point out that even there, there are many many advances and when you say aggressive chemotherapy, it is not always something very difficult to tolerate. And even older patients now can frequently be treated well with chemotherapy and many of these combinations. Now, you can say to your patient that on an average about 80% of Hodgkin's lymphomas are cured forever and average of 50% non-Hodgkin's lymphomas are cured forever. So what do you do for some of the very resistant lymphomas or lymphomas which come back? That is where the recent advances allow us to give many new medicines as well as there is important role of transplant. For lymphomas, the commonest form of transplant is autologous transplant that is using patient's own stem cells, you can do a autologous stem cell transplant which cures about 50% of such relapsed or very refractory lymphomas. So in short, we can summarize that lymphomas are rising in incidence. There are about 20,000 new cases per year in India. The diagnosis is easy if suspected and the cure rates are excellent.